Hey Ashley. Hey. So how was that? <laughs> Incredible. His spelling was on point. Math was flawless. He didn't even need a calculator. Amazing. It really was. But how was your date? Don't ask. Oh no. Kept me waiting in the park for almost an hour. You're joking. And then when he did turn up, he was with an entourage. <laughs> no way. Yeah, him and one other goon. <laughs> I didn't stay. Didn't even speak to him. Well, how do you know it was him? Could have been someone else. He was wearing the same jacket in his profile picture. See, that's why I hate dating apps. What do you mean? I mean, it takes like two months to get to know the girl. And then you don't really know her because you've never seen her. And then when you first meet up, she looks nothing like she does on her profile. So you start questioning all the things you told her, all the compliments and secrets you shared, and you feel like, rah, you have been scammed. False advertising. And then when you meet her, she expects you to pay for everything. And I mean, I'm a gentleman and all, but you're expecting me to pick up all the bills. Nah. And then you realize you have nothing in common with the person and you never see them again. So it's a whole waste of time. Yep, yeah, that's women for your dating apps. Hashtag waste my time 2018. What about you guys? Why do men feel the need to post topless? It's a dating app and not a porn site. <laughs> Don't start every conversation with, hey, how are you? I'm fine. No, actually I'm not. I hate my boss at work. I can't get my eyeliner to match. Wait, do you actually care about anything I just said? No, so don't ask generic questions then. Also, own your height. I'm not in this game for a midget. Why put six foot two if you're really five three? Don't you dare get me started on the B word. Hey babe, sure babe, how you doing babe? I'm not your babe. I have a mum and dad and they gave me a name. If we meet and date for a while and you manage to sleep with me and you call me babe during sex. Not only will I never speak to you again, but I may chop off your balls and hand them to you on a platter. I'm joking about the last part. I don't understand. You're a successful, strong businesswoman. I wouldn't go that far. Well, I don't know that many 24 years old hot dealers. There's a few of us. And I'm sure there's someone out there for you. Stop it. I ask myself every day, why am I still single? I mean, look at me. A young Congolese warrior. <laughs> You're a joker. So, aren't you going to tell me about this latest artwork? Really? Yes. I'm fascinated by it. Well, it's called Born King and Born Queen. The image is obviously of a child. Can't be older than six years old. The crown is inspired by Basquiat. So, he used a lot of crowns in his artwork, mainly on black icons or black people he considered heroes. The crown obviously represents royalty. Future kings and queens. Know that they're royalty now, and any adversity and obstacles that they may face in the future, they'll be able to overcome. Black excellence. That's dope. That's really dope. The kid was a genius. Guys, sit down, I'm making dinner this evening. No, it's fine, I got this. That's why I got the ingredients ready. So, what were you guys going to cook? Jello. Do you know what? I'm not hungry. Wait, you don't like my cooking. Well, you're Nigerian, but everyone knows it's a Ghanaian dish. Everyone knows Nigerians do jollof better. It's all about African unity. Does this even matter? Yes. yes. Watch me make it. No, watch me make it. Okay. Leon, you can be the judge. My favourite jollof dish is... 